All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Riffin mid lane in Season 12. So what we have in this game is Conqueror as the main keystone. We also have Triumph, Alacrity. We got Last Dance, Transcendence, and also Scorch. And into the core key matchup, we also have the Armor, AD, and Ability Haste. All right, so a couple things that you need to know about the matchup. Um, I've recently been getting like a lot of questions regarding Riffin mid. I'd say like she is not necessarily the best mid laner right now, but she's definitely in a good spot. She's not really bad. She's also not the greatest, but she does pretty well in mid lane. So. Oop, missing that one. Now guys, we're facing off Corky. This is a very annoying matchup, uh, partially because Corky can poke all day. And... Um, he can jump away from me whenever I try to all in him. Which makes it a pretty hard counter matchup. But luckily for us, like once we make it to like level 6 and beyond that, it's gonna be way easier. I'll show you. If he turns, I will all in. Okay. And I got him. Triumph Brock. There we go. The trick against Corky is to not be afraid when you're trying all in him. Most Corky players, they play with first strike, they play with domination. I've seen that multiple times already. And um, they also play with TP most of the time. Quite simple. If you play against Corky, you just literally just go for a short trade. If you get him like below a certain amount of health, you just all in them with Ignite. They usually don't really expect you to turn around so fast. That's the beauty. About it. Uh, simple question. Why armor if you are, you know, playing against Corky, right? Um, just in short, if we have armor in the bonus stats up against Corky, it's, it's actually not that bad because if you trade Corky, the wave is going to focus you. And if you go for armor, you can block that damage. So it's not that bad, actually. Trying to freeze the wave up. Smart. I don't really want to walk up too much because I don't really know where Rengar is right now. Oh, okay, cool. Choose your own path. We're going to walk up here. He'll probably get level 5 before we can do something. Nice, good train. Like, Corky can technically jump away all the time when I go for the all-in, right? But Corky doesn't really have, like, a huge amount of CC that could stop us. Instead, we can literally all-in, and there's not much he can do. So, if we can get the wave into a good spot where we can all-in him, um, it will become very easy for me. It's just, like, the way how he's positioned right now, it makes it, like, a little hard for me. Because if we all-in, he could just jump up to his tower and then be safe. So that's why I'm waiting a little. Then he jumps away. Cool. Now we're level 5. Now we're going to all in him because his W is on cooldown. Oh, serious? <laughs> wow. Oh man, I'm going to lose the wave. Ah, that sucks. That really sucks, man. He survived with like, what, like 10 HP or something? Or maybe even less? Well, there is a one level difference right now because of that gank from Rengar. He is level 6 and we're level 5 right now, so that's going to be challenging. Not exactly great timing, but... As soon as we take this wave... I don't even think we're really hitting level 6 yet. Nah, can trade him. Still level, level 5. 
Rengar seems to be bot lane. Okay, I was going to place a ward down for Rengar, but it appears he's actually bot lane, so... Don't have level 6, unfortunately. I'm about to reach level 6 after I take the front creeps. So maybe we can use it to turn. Yep, got him. He didn't expect it. Cool. So once again, like, Corky is a champion which heavily relies on poking you and being in a safe position. But funny thing is, when you reach level 6 with Riffin, you can just... You know, burst your opponent very fast, especially a champion like Corky, which is easy to kill, right? It's not that hard for us. Okay, let's make our way back. That's gonna be pushed in. So this time we're gonna go with pickaxe. We're just gonna go for pure raw damage like immediately after i'll take like one potion just in case it's got uh a warhammer with tear so far he's got like uh he's got like 61 gold so far from the first strike he doesn't really benefit from it that much because we we can constantly all in him Nice. Corky in the jungle. So we're going to hard push this next wave. Okay. Let's move up to the jungle camp here. Take that before Rengar does. How should I proceed? There we go. Now we go back to mid, take the next wave, and then I think I'm probably going to roam top lane afterwards. Maybe we can probably kill Yone. We'll see. As long as Rengar is missing on the map, we're not going to hard push or try and fight too hard. we got to be a little careful with how we approach Corky right now, until we know where he is. Nice. Uh, next wave will arrive as well. We've nearly got my Gorging now. Within like one wave, you will have it. Whoops. He's going for a TP, huh? My spirit is not lost. Okay, let's go back. Alright, so we have my Gorging right now. Um, next item this game will probably be a death stance because they have a full AD team. And then after Death Stance, I think I'll probably go for... I think I might actually combine it with a Steel Caps and then... You know, probably get a Sterex Gauge. We'll see. We could also go for a Steel Caps and then go for uh, Death Stance and Black Lever. I don't really build Black Lever that much nowadays. If I'm honest. Okay, here it comes. Well, this guy's dead. Oh. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> he was backporting around the corner. Are you kidding? <laughs> that was actually so smart because he might have known that I was standing there. It's what I'm assuming. Oh, whoops. I think he probably knew I was standing there. It's such a strange place to, like, backboard on, to be honest. Hmm, wait. I can kill Rengar. Oh, he actually survived by dropping his W down on the end right there. Okay, cool. No problem. Good mistake, our Corky. Choose your own path. Nice. Corky can't really roam because, well, he might be able to. 
right now because there's no vision. How should I proceed? Okay. We don't want Corky to roam in the game. We want him to stay in the lane. Yeah, this is kind of the point where Corky is going to do lots of damage, as you can notice already. Each time he does his ultimate, he's going to do like 200 damage. When you face a Corky, you're just going to have to beat him in the early game before he snowballs. That's the trick. My spirit is not lost. Again, like, I don't know where Rengar is. I can't really approach this Corky as long as Rengar is missing. Because he could be standing right on his back. A sword mirrors its own. I was thinking about roaming down to Balin, actually. Okay, here we go. I don't think they know. Hmm. Thank, um, thinking too much. Hmm. <laughs> well, he's gonna live, or maybe. Oh, well, not bad from him. Okay. Two kills for one. I mean, two kills for nothing, actually. I was kind of worried that Corky was going to hard push mid lane. But we have Eve, like, covering the lane, so it's, it's fine. Next item is going to be a Death Stance. So we've got Steel Caps, which will counter Yone, Rengar, uh, a little bit of Corky, and also Yasu here. Next item will be Death Stance, and then after Death Stance, I think I'll go for either a Black Lever or a Steric Gauge. I personally think it's going to be a Steric Gauge because Black Lever doesn't help too much against our team. This guy's dead. He's overextending. <laughs> nope. Oh, my Gorging Dribble's almost off, man. <laughs> Remember, guys, I got Steel Caps here, and it wasn't even enough to, like, block Rengar. Even though we had like a two level lead, right? He was still killing us, unfortunately. Alright. Oh, well, just to correct myself a little bit, we, we were in the fight right here against against Rengar, and my Gorchinker was actually up at the end, but I couldn't actually use it because I had to run from Rengar's damage at the same time. I was trying to like hit my Gorchinker in the mid air of Rengar. But yeah, obviously it didn't work. <clears throat> yeah, Rengar is uh, by far this game the most annoying. I think he's honestly the only threat this game. If I'm truly honest. Hello, Corky. I'll see if I can grab the blue here. No blue. Good. Uh, I think Corky's gonna push the next wave in mid. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing on Earth, man? Why would he do this? He could. He, I, I don't think he could have even cleaned up the wave, even if he 
I even if I wasn't there. Oh. He's going for a TP. Okay. That TP is pretty wasted for him. I think Corky might still walk around. Uh, or he might even go to mid lane, could also be. Ooh, he's got crown. So he's going like AP Corky. Okay. I actually thought he was going to go like Corky and then go for like Hydra build. Because that's currently what is meta for Corky right now. Pretty much everyone's playing Corky mid, they, they, they go for like Hydra and stuff for clear. But obviously, you know, this guy is going AP Corky. Understandable, you know. They have a full 80 team, so it would make barely any sense. Currently, so far, I've only done, like... I've only been able to... Do, like, 167 damage with Scorch. That's kind of disappointing you know because it could have been way more this game if we were able to trade corky more but the laning phase has been really fast you know oh oh wait what what did i miss something how on earth did i not notice <laughs> All right, you're dead. Nice. Let's go back again. So this time we're going to go for a death stance. And my next item will definitely be a Starx Gauge. Maybe we could also go for a Chainsaw. Because they do have healing. So I think I might go for that first. I'll take this one. They've got, uh, they've got Yone, which is healing quite a bit with Shield Bow. They have a Yasuo, which is healing with Shield Bow. They also have, you know, the other stuff. And of course, like, Chainsword also provides ability haste, which is always useful. I think Rengar is down here. Hello, Yone. <laughs> I love his attempt at trying to run. <laughs> you see what a difference it makes? We got steel caps, which... Blocks a lot of damage from Rengar. We have Dead Stance, which once again blocks even more damage from Rengar. We also have the um, this item to reduce the healing. We pretty much like counter Rengar and the full team within like one build, making them completely useless against me. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, he saw me there. <laughs> Alright, we're backing out. Okay, let's go for Warhammer. Wait, you guys are saying grab the eye, grab the Herald? I don't think I killed the Herald, though, did I? I didn't kill the Herald, right? No, I don't think I did. I think they did. No, I can't find it. Yeah, Rengar took it. I didn't took it myself, no. Yeah, you guys were talking about like, grab the hero, but yeah, we haven't actually got it. It was Rengar. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, Drake is alive. We could fight for the Drake, but my team, my Jinx is dead right now. We could try and beat them there. Okay. He actually was alone. Well, Rengar is that going that way, obviously. I don't even have to press my R for him, to be honest. What is he doing? He's going for the kills. Oh, okay, it's smart, actually. <laughs> this Corky is actually... Um, he's, he's actually pretty smart, not gonna lie. He got, like, three kills out of that stuff. Yeah, he did, actually. He killed, like, three people of my team. Get rep off here. I mean, uh, camp this camp here. I hope that the rep off is up, but I think they don't. I think it's down. Because I think this is the rep off from theirs. I think. Yeah. It's like I thought. We're gonna kill Yone. Oh, whoops. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Always that Jenna ultimate. Like I said, man, we got dead stand steel caps. They can't really beat us. We can literally just dive them. No issue. <laughs> this teleporter. By the way, ADC Lions. Hey, thank you for the resub prime of two months. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for coming back again. Oh, they can see me. Oh, serious? I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was, um, so let me explain my vision right here, okay? Because I had something going through my mind as I was going to approach this. So we had Rengar here, we had Yone here, um, and then we had. Jenna here with Corky, and I was standing here, okay? So what I, what, what I was thinking here in my brain was, I was going to let Corky and Jenna, you know, I was going to pretend like I was going to jump into these guys. But in reality, if Yone and Rengar would walk over here, I would then turn and jump on Yone and Rengar at the same time, and then kill them, right? Fortunately, though, these guys walked back. These guys kept chasing. They had exhaust as well, so it obviously doesn't work. But it was a, 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 a ten, but we you know we're trying at least. Hey, mate! Saw your colleague on the YouTube. It helped you a lot to practice her a bit. Hope you're good though. Oh man, our colleague is is such a lovely champion, man. Thirty seconds for Drake. How should I
They let my stun on E2. <laughs> that Mal Sahar ultimate. <laughs> Oh wow, they actually actually survived. What is the chance, man? He had like one HP or something. Take the red too. They should take the red. Oh, it's already taken actually. Interesting. This game is harder than I expected. Which is really funny because we have we literally have the perfect build into their team comp. We have everything it takes to counter everyone except Corky, and yet we are actually struggling in those fights. Strange. But I'm pretty sure once we have like a really good team fight where I can hit several people, it's going to be an easy one. The last few team fights have been uh, a little weird. So. And Rengar, of course, is doing damage. He's not going to jump, obviously. So we got to get Baron now, actually. We got to group up for this stuff. Yasuo is apparently in bot lane, okay? <laughs> Get Maul's the hard man. <laughs> this champion is brain dead. I never I, I certainly don't mind having a Maul Sahar on the team, man. Like the champion speaks for itself. You press one button and you get a free kill. <laughs> Final item. Let's go for this one. Team's popping off. We, we obviously have a kill. Level 16 right now. In this guy. I just love diving Janna players because they don't they don't expect you to like jump over over a wall usually. I mean the uh, tower usually. Okay, spawning in five seconds. But it's, oh, he's got Edge of the Knights. Uh huh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Either way, guys, this is Riffin Midlane. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.